Do you want to invest in real estate but don't have the money? Or maybe you don't think you have the money? Well, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to invest in real estate for as little as $2. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron Bowman here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. Now, if you're new here or if you've been watching for a little bit, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know when I release new content. In the beginning, I said, I'm gonna show you how to invest in real estate with as little as $2, but there's a few things we have to cover first. The only other thing you need to do this is your cell phone. Now I know what you're thinking. You're gonna say that- There's no possible way Aaron I can invest in real estate for as little as a few dollars. And normally I would say you're right if you're thinking of traditional real estate investing. That is going out and buying a property, renting it out, collecting those rents every month. That can be a lot of work. And there's a few downsides to that too. One, the cost is high to get in. Your average home in the US is about 300,000. Then you need to worry about all the closing costs when it comes to buying and if you're looking to maybe do a fix and flip to then selling that property, which in all said and done can be up to 10% total. And you know, there's a lot of other things that come along with that. Uh, for example, down in the description, I have a rental property that I had in earlier last year, we had a tenant burn it down. You can watch that video, the link's down there. And those are just some of the things you just don't want to deal with. Now, today what we're talking about is real estate investment trusts or REITs. Now, they are basically publicly traded companies that invest in real estate. So, like myself, for example, and a lot of people I know, I couldn't invest in a large apartment complex or a large mall or any type of really large buildings outside of maybe a single family or two family home. We're gonna look at a couple REITs and what you need is your phone and the Robin Hood app. Now, that is a app that I've been using for a little while to invest with. The reason why I like it is there's zero transaction fees. Now, I do a lot of my banking with USAA and I could invest right through their website platform or their mobile app, but they charge me you know, every time to do a transaction. So if I'm, let's say, investing $100 and they're charging me $12 right off the rip to do that transaction, well, technically I've lost 12% of my investment and I'm only really investing, what, $88? So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So now, the first thing you have to do is go get the Robinhood app. And that's very simple. You can go to the Google Play Store, you can go to the iTunes, Apple Play Store, or whatever they call it over on Apple. Sorry, Apple people, I don't use an iPhone. I don't know what the Play Store is called over there. Maybe it's just the Play Store, I don't know. But you wanna go over there and there's other apps. I'm very familiar with Robinhood. That's the one I like to use and it's very simplistic. It's very clean. Their interface is very user-friendly and I really don't have a lot of bad things to say about it. Now, we're gonna look at the Vanguard REIT and the Arbor Realty Trust. Now, these are two different REITs that you can get a hold of through the app and you can invest with. Now, when we're looking at these, let me just open up my Robinhood. When you open it up, like I have mine set up to work with my, with my, there you go. So I have mine to set up, once it's set up to work with my thumbprint. So once I log in, I can see how much money I've invested so far. And if you're like me, you could set this up in small weekly, monthly increments as far as what you want to invest. It doesn't have to be a lot of money all at once, which is really nice. And Robinhood is coming out with some newer features in the near future with what they call fractional investing. So before you used to have to buy a whole stock. Now with this fractional stock purchase, you can buy a portion of it. So maybe you don't have enough money to say buy Facebook stock. You can buy a portion of it based on the amount of money you have. Is That's the way I understand it. Now I haven't seen it yet because it hasn't come out, but that's something that they're doing very shortly. And they have a few other things that's are pretty interesting on their app. They have a cash management card that's coming out. It's like a debit card where you can withdraw money from your account and stuff like that. But um, it's not really um, available yet. There's actually a waiting list and 1,012,738 people away from getting that. So you can always just tap on the card and it boosts your your spot. I mean, it's if you want to, you just sit there while watching TV and, and push the button, the, the little card, and you can boost it up. But um, what I like is the fact that you can search anything in here very easily. You can also 
make your trades very simply just by linking your checking account. You can deposit some money. You can do as low as 10 bucks if you want. You can, you know, whatever the um, amount of money you're comfortable in investing, you can do. Now, before I get any further in this, I probably should have started off with this. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just what I do. It may be right, it may be completely wrong, but I'm enjoying it so far. Hopefully down the road, this is a long-term plan that I will start to see some passive income come out of this. And that's what we're all really looking forward to doing. We don't always wanna work for the rest of our life. We wanna have opportunities to bring in other revenue sources and make that passive income where if we're on vacation with the family, we're still getting a dividend from this yearly, quarterly, monthly, however the stock is set up or the, the trust is set up. And whether it's you know in passive income coming in from a rental unit or maybe it's coming in from this REIT, either way, it's a win for us. We're not killing ourselves by going to a nine to five job every day. We're getting paid by being smart and making our money work for us. The first one I wanted to look at is the Vanguard US REIT. Now currently that one's at $94 and 42 cents is what I have written down here. And it has a dividend yearly of 3.37%. So that means whatever you're investing in, they're gonna pay you 3.37% on that for holding that stock. So the more stock you have, the more money you're gonna make. And then the other one I looked at was the Arbor Realty Trust. That one's trading at 14.49 for that REIT. And basically they're offering 7.8% dividend. So a little bit better dividend might be a little more risk and always make sure you do some real good due diligence when you're starting to pick any of these uh, REITs. Now, um, the last one here I wanna take a look at real quick, let me pull it up, is the, uh, well, there's two that are really good. You have the Blue Rock Residential Growth REIT which uh, the average cost is about 11.96, and it pays a dividend of 5.44 per year. Now the other one, and this is the one we're gonna buy right now, which just kind of blew my mind, I could get into something for as little down as this. Now, this one here, it's crazy. It's the CBL and Associates Properties. Their average cost is $1.04. So for $1.04, you could buy a share or if you had $2.08, you could buy two shares. Now, their dividends pay 24.39 a year. And uh, let's see, they have been established since 1993, which I'd like, so they're not going anywhere. They've been around for a while. They have 650 employees. And uh, the firm engages in owning, developing, acquiring, leasing, managing, and operating regional shopping malls, open air centers, community centers, and office properties. It operates through the malls and all other segments. Its properties include malls, association centers, community centers, office buildings, construction properties, and mortgages. And they are funded, uh, founded in July 13th of 1993, and they're in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now, what I like about this is there is no possible way anytime in my near future with the large family that we have that I could ever invest or purchase a shopping mall. There's just no way. I just know that. It's not in my cards. But now, through the Robinhood app, through these REITs, if this is one you're interested in, do a little research on it, and you can then invest in it for as little as a dollar four. Now, again, this could go up next month. It could go up tomorrow. But I'm getting in at a dollar four and shares. We're gonna buy 10 shares right now. This is how we're gonna do it. You ready? Look uh, over here on the screen, here we go. So once I'm unlocked, let's see. So I go in, I hit trade, I hit buy, and you can see where it says number of shares, market price, $1.04, I'm gonna put in 10 shares, swipe up to confirm, and there you go. I just bought 10 shares. That's probably less than what I would buy. Uh, let's see, 10 bucks is less than what I would buy myself and one of my kids a meal at McDonald's for the both of us. Or if I only wanted to buy five shares, that'd be just a coffee for today at Starbucks. So you can see that small fractions, you know, a few dollars here, a few dollars there, this will all add up. And then you can take those dividends and roll it right back into that stock. And eventually you'll start getting that passive income. Now, again, this isn't gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna get rich overnight. And that's not the point. The point is to have a long-term plan. And you know, uh, where else can you go and have a little fun something to watch on your phone, spend a couple bucks and hopefully make that extra money 
every month eventually or every year. Now, this isn't for everybody and I understand that. And you know, it's not as exciting as buying a rental house and screening tenants and making sure you get paid your rent every month. You're getting into something as little as a dollar four and eventually those dollar fours over time are gonna add up and start building that income and it's really gonna diversify your portfolio and that's really what we want. You could have money in the stock, Roth 401k, you can have a deferred comp through your, through your job, but those go up and down with the stock market and normally real estate really doesn't coincide with the stock market. It did a little bit, well, a lot in 2008, but that was because of the bad mortgages that were being sold and that's a whole nother topic that we can get into. But this is fairly safe, I would have to say. And I mean, if I lost $10, yeah, it's $10, it's probably two coffees at Starbucks I could have had or three depending on what type of coffee I get. But in the end, it's really less than a movie ticket if you think about it. To get your feet wet, if you're looking to get into investing, real estate is usually a 90% chance of a good bargain as long as it's bought and managed properly. And that's why you have to do your due diligence before you buy any of these on the Robinhood app. And again, also, if you use my link below, you don't have to, but if you do, you actually get an opportunity to earn a free stock. And it could be anything from Facebook, Twitter, Ford. It just depends. Get the link, sign up, and then you get the opportunity to get a free stock. And the free stock I got $3 the other day, and now that one stock is up to four. Kind of cool that they, they offer that. You want to make sure that if you are going to do this, don't use your local bank. Don't use a traditional institution because they are going to charge you any, you know, up to $12 per transaction, sometimes more. With the Robinhood app, there's zero transaction fees. So if you put in a hundred bucks, you're going to be able to invest a hundred bucks. Keep that in mind, guys. Thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one.